Welcome to Hillary Topper On Air, the podcast you can't afford to miss. The holidays are almost here. Have you made your shopping list yet? Still trying to decide on that perfect gift to give to that someone special? I'm Hillary Topper, and this is Hillary Topper On Air. Today, I'm really excited to be talking with Esther Fortunoff. She's the president of Fortunoff Fine Jewelry in Westbury. Hi, Esther. Welcome back to the show. Hi, Hillary. Thanks. Nice to be here. So tell us a little bit about yourself and about Fortunoff Fine Jewelry. Sure. So I'm um, the third ger- generation in the Fortunoff family involved in giving gifts and making people happy. Um, but myself, I've been in the jewelry business, um, taught by my mother actually, for, I don't know, at least 35 years. I won't say more than that. But I'm an expert on diamonds, on pearls, on gemstones. And also, over the years, I've gotten a chance to um, be involved in the jewelry industry all over the world and found great designers and uh, gemstone cutters. And so I've got a a long history, um, which is fun because it informs what I do now. Very cool. I cannot believe that the holidays are going to be here. They're right around the corner. Can you believe this? Um, And I'm sure that you see so many people coming into the store to find that special gift for somebody. What's on people's radars this year? Well, it depends really on who it is. Generally, I find that Um, let's say a more fashion forward woman might be buying something for herself or for a friend and be looking for something that's really up to the minute. Um, And I can tell you what those are in a second. But the other people that I see are often men, um, but not always, who are just wanting to make sure that they don't make a mistake. And so they want a gift that's going to wow someone, Mm. something that's like great and, you know, they'll feel like they did, you know, the right thing, they're a hero, and um, they want it to be, of course, nice quality, lasting value, but also just like the right thing. And so we do, um, we are very experienced with this and help Um, people kind of narrow down on what the options are and give some expertise on what generally people like. Um, I would say for the fashion forward person or someone who already has a lot of jewelry, there are some new trends here that are beautiful and also affordable. And some of those are like petite uh, gold chains, Um, chain necklaces, some linky uh, chain bracelets, and those are really fresh and new. I mean, of course, gold isn't new. It's been a gift for thousands of years, but it's being done in shapes that are a little different and in a lightweight um, method so that it's not too expensive, but it still really looks like a wow. Um... I would say another cool thing for people who already have a lot of jewelry, because you don't want to get them the same thing that they already have, Mm -hmm. is um, pieces with rainbow colors of gemstones. Um, That's something where it might be several different shades of sapphire, or it might be multi um, other gemstones, like all in pastel shades. And that's something that you can do as an earring or as a a little necklace or a ring or a bracelet. And what's nice about those is that there are a variety of price points that you can um, get in on this trend with. So does it make sense to buy something trendy or stick with something classic like if somebody just walks in and they're really not sure what to buy there, 
special someone, what would you suggest? I, I do think it depends on, um, it's always a little safer to go with the classic. Mm -hmm. But on the other hand, the person, you know, the gift recipient might have something like that already. Mm -hmm. So we try to just talk to the person who's giving the gift and show them something that's kind of newer, but not necessarily trendy. But um, it's it's a different take on a kind of look. Um, so it'll complement the other jewelry that they have, and it'll fit in with their style, but it's not going to be the same thing that they have already. So over the years, I'm sure you've been involved in so many special moments around the holidays. Do you have any great memories of being able to help a customer find that special gift? Uh, yeah, I, I do. I mean, one of the recent memories um, for a holiday gift was last year um, I helped a dad and his daughter, who was about 15, find something for her mom. And it was just so nice because, mm -hmm. first of all, I've known this family for a while, and so I remember meeting this girl when she was about eight, and now, you know, she's 14. And I really loved the care and the time that she spent. She wanted to look at almost everything in the store <laughs> and, and really talk about, like, what I thought her mom would like and what would fit in with her lifestyle. And it was really so sweet. And we, you know, we spent a long time, but we found the right thing. And it was you know, it's important when people feel like, oh, I see this and this is right because it does fit in with the person's style and it is something that is um, of quality and so it, it's going to be something that someone cherishes forever. Um, so really, I have a lot, a lot of those stories. I remember um, recently a gentleman who came in with his wife and bought something for his three granddaughters Aww. who were all of slightly different ages, but he wanted to get them all things that looked kind of similar but not exactly the same and that they would remember that their grandparents had, had given them these. And so that was just a, a really nice one. Beautiful. Um, yeah. Then, of course, there was the gentleman who came and bought the exact same thing for his two grown daughters, which I was really kind of worried about. Um, I tried to get him to get something a little different. No, they live in different cities, and he just felt like it was better to, you know, have found that one thing and just give it to both of them. Huh, interesting. That's so, that's interesting. Um, so before we move on, I, I have to make note that I am so appreciative of our sponsors and must thank them. Please support our sponsors and tell them that you heard about them on Hillary Topper on Air. Special thanks to the Russo Law Group, MedPro, Strain Print, and Fortune Off Fine Jewelry. And back to you, Esther. So what if someone has a tight holiday budget, but still wants to get something special for their loved ones? You know, do you have any suggestions for that? Yeah, yeah, I do. We have a lot of things that are even under $100 or many things between 250 and 500 So it depends on the budget, but um, there's always something nice that you can get in sterling silver. I mean, there are some nice new bracelets in silver. There's um, little earrings. I also have um, a, a new line of um, stretchy bracelets that are fun. That um, I think the you know the opening price point is about sixty dollars, and you can stack them and you can always add on, you know, at other occasions. And so even though it's not a giant gift, it's something that you can keep and keep wearing and, and add to it. And of course, we always have a lot of things for 
young children, babies, teens, and those are all really very, very um, affordable. Most, a lot of them are under a hundred dollars. There are things with um, diamonds for you know the sort of budding. Uh, jewelry lover who's maybe a preteen or a tween, um, and of course there's actually um, a lot of different religious symbols that people sometimes get for young boys and girls. Now, besides from your store, which is located in Westbury, you have this gorgeous website. It's updated and it's beautiful. Um, are the same pieces online that exist in the store and vice versa? That's a great question. Uh, there are a lot of things that are on fortuneofjewelry.com that um, when people come to the store, they don't see them. They're wondering where they are. But for the most part, um, there's just so much jewelry in the store, it's a little bit hard to find exactly what you're looking for. Whereas sometimes on a website, someone can hone in and sort of drill down and see the items more easily. But yes, almost everything that is in the store is on the web, although certain one-only custom pieces or very special pieces that are expensive um, may not be photographed um, before they sell. And certainly if they come into the store in October, sometimes I'd rather not send them out for photography but have them in the store. Um, the other thing is that in certain cases, items just don't photograph as well. Mm -hmm. um, and so we, we don't put them on the web because you can't really tell how nice they are. Mm -hmm. um, so as many e-commerce businesses do, sometimes I make use of photography from the designer. You know, they made the thing, they'll give you the, the image, but in certain cases, you know, those images aren't that great, and it's a little bit hard to tell. Mm -hmm. One of the interesting things about shopping on a website versus in person, and this is really not just jewelry but other things as well, is it's very hard for people to judge scale. Mm -hmm. And so, it, you know, how big is it really or how small is it really? Um, and that's actually why... Um, I had decided to open the store five years ago because so many people just said, you know, it's really easier for me if I try on mm -hmm. the item. And especially, of course, women love to try on earrings or, you know, rings. It's much easier to know the proper fit if you're trying on. And so um, I love the website, and it's really fun to work on it, but in certain cases, it's just easier for people to shop in person. And this may be a hard question, but what's the most unique gift you have? And also, what's your favorite item? Oh, that is a hard question. Well, the <laughs> most unique item I have... I would say is probably um, something with an unusual gemstone like mm. a boulder opal or, um, you know, a beautiful tanzanite. I mean, the gemstones in a way become the unique aspect of what I'm selling. Um, although I do have, I started working with um, a young woman designer out of L.A., and she does a ring that covers most of your finger, huh. and it has like a hinge in the middle, and it, that, that's certainly a unique item. And that's from a woman named Nilu, and it's in rose gold with a lot of diamonds. Mm. So that, that is something unusual. But I would say probably my favorites um, often go to things with, with beautiful gemstones or, you know, just color that speaks to you. Um, but I also have some great new diamond pieces, and um, I found uh, a few new pieces that are small, but they're just really nice from Greece, where um, it's 
almost got like the color of the ocean mm. um, as a gemstone. Wow. Um, so, yeah, that, that, I like those. But the, the fun of having a jewelry business is you never have to pick your favorite thing because you're always looking toward the next favorite thing. <laughs> <laughs> so quick quick picks for the holidays this year. What would you suggest? Um, well, pendants are always great because you know that they fit everyone. And so a nice um, diamond necklace or diamond pendant, there's a trend toward some of the minimal styles. I think that that's always great and will fit on pretty much anyone. Gold earrings, you, you know, we just can't get enough of them. People mm -hmm. just love gold hoops and gold earrings of all sorts. And so that's one of those things that it's hard to go wrong. Um, other things are some of the little cute diamond stacking bra rings. So that there's stacking bracelets, of course, which are not inexpensive, but then there's a lot of stacking rings. And so we're getting in some new ones that you can wear singly, or you can put three together, or you can put it with your engagement ring. Um, and so those, I think, are a very easy gift because they kind of go with everything. And so, mm -hmm. you know, that's one of those things. It's also hard to go wrong. And of course, we can, if the size isn't right, we can size it in our store by my jeweler who um, is a master craftsman or we can create a new one if, if needed. So I, I think stacking rings have become like a really good mm -hmm. gift idea because people just seem to love them. Yeah, they're beautiful. And finally, how do people get in touch with you and or Fortune Off Fine Jewelry? Well, they can get in touch with Fortune Off Fine Jewelry by going on the web at service at fortuneoffjewelry.com, or they can call 1-800-636-7886. I also have my own um, email that someone can ask me <clears throat> a question, which is called Ask Esther at fortuneoffjewelry.com. So it's A-S-K-E-S-T-H-E-R, F-O-R-T-U-N-O-F-F-J-E-W-L-R-Y. So it's ask Esther at fortuneoffjewelry.com. And we also post on the website special events that we're going to be having um, throughout the holiday season. We'll do some trunk shows and some um, special shopping nights. And um, if someone wants to see what our extended hours are, generally we're closed on Mondays, but probably the last two uh, Mondays in December we will be open. And, um, you know, the, getting in touch with us also is easy because we have just a normal local phone number that we answer every day, which is 516-222-7879. And now on our website, we have a chat feature, but it only works when someone is there, like a human to answer it. So it's not 24 seven, but people can always leave messages 24 seven and then we get back to them because we do offer a sort of personalized um, human tour of the website with um, our customer service manager who's been with us for many, many years. And she can help guide someone through the site just because it could be overwhelming since we have thousands of items so that that's always a way to get in touch with us. Awesome. So there's lots of ways to get in touch with Fortune Off Fine Jewelry. Um, go to ask Esther at fortuneoffjewelry.com or you can look them up or go on the website. Thank you, Esther, so much for being on the show. I want to thank our sponsors, the Russo Law Group, MedPro, Strain Print, and Fortune Off Fine Jewelry. And last but not least, I want to thank you, our listeners, for tuning in. If you want more information on this show or any other show, visit us 
at hillarytopperonair.com or you can find us on Spotify, iTunes, Google Play, SoundCloud, MixCloud, you name it, we're out there. Have a great week and we'll see you next time. Thanks so much, Hillary.